that day was just a normal day. It was Valentine's evening and I remember it like it was yesterday. My mum was on the end of the sofa with my dad and I was on the other chair. He was, you know, just joking around and he sort of had this fit and then his eyes rolled to the back of his head and, um, yeah, everything sort of changed that evening. He was only 43 when he passed away. You know, I was scared. Why did it happen to my dad? When I was pregnant with our fourth child, they picked up that I had a slight leaky valve. Things started to sort of go downhill after then. I probably wouldn't even get out of bed some days because I would have severe chest pain and it would sort of penetrate down my arm like I was having a heart attack and all I could think about was my father. I actually didn't think I would come out of hospital. Having the children was easy. Having heart surgery was really hard. I remember coming home from hospital, laying in bed, and I could feel my heart pound. It just kept me awake. It was good feeling, but it was really weird because I've never ever felt it before in my entire life. We started to support the charity really seriously since I've sort of had my heart condition. It provides the funding for the research, um, and there wasn't a lot of research when I lost my father. What they're doing now, they didn't do, you know, 20 years ago. When I did feel better, we did the charity walk, we did it for the family, because it was just after my surgery. We did it in memory of my father. When we had the Where It Beat It, a lot of people turned out. It was a really, really good day, successful day, it was really good. So I want to try and do something a bit bigger and better next year. Be as red and as mad as possible. When you've got to beat heart disease, you've got to beat heart disease. You can do it. You can do it. Hopefully I have, and I will.